Ryzen R5 is right around the corner and supposedly debuting on April 11th. Perhaps one of the largest and most anticipated CPU launches I've seen in a long while. Finally, a CPU to compete against Intel in the gaming market. And it looks really good on paper with 4 core, 8 thread to 6 core, 12 thread CPUs all under $300. But where exactly do these prices exactly compete against Intel? That is the important factor. I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying they are waiting for these and are in massive anticipation of these because they are going to provide the best performance for value for gaming. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion setup design tech reviews and unboxings so if you're into that sort of thing consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel so the hype is building and the launch is right around the corner and honestly a little sooner than i even expected but we have to keep our expectations in check and grounded to look at these processors at a fair perspective this way we don't repeat the backlash like the one that occurred during the release of the r7 chips yeah that was that was pretty bad. So where exactly do these processors compete? As far as AMD is claiming or advertising, we are looking at the price comparison and not the spec comparison. But what does that mean? It basically means these are meant to compare against their respective Intel price equivalent CPUs. So starting with the R5 1600X listed at $250, it's supposed to compete with Intel's i5 7600K at around the same price margin. Respectively, the other CPUs that will be competing with the R5s are AMD's 1600 against the i5 7600, the 1500X against Intel's 7400 and 7500, and the 1400 against the i3 7350K. And I know what you might be thinking, well man, all those cores and threads and it's only competing against i5s and one of the i3s? Well, yes, comparatively, yes. We have to look at the price as what we are paying to make equal comparisons between the two. But that doesn't mean we can't compare these processors with the core and thread equivalent Intel CPUs, as I do think they will put up a decent fight in that respect. Now in the respect of pricing, I really do think these processors will offer a lot more than the price equivalent Intel CPUs. But let's talk in terms of gaming for a moment, because that's what a lot of people want to hear and talk about. What can we expect? Well, most schemes are usually optimized for four cores anyways, but the move to optimization for more cores is definitely underway. The R5 processors also have similar clock speeds to the R7 series, and while yes, it may be easier to overclock fewer cores, that still isn't a rule of thumb that applies to every CPU. But they do have decent core speeds, and I do think they will game well for their price. Now they won't necessarily game any better than the R7 chips, they'll just be offering a better value for what you pay for them in terms of gaming. The R7s are a different market than the R5s. Moving on from just gaming, I really do think the R5 processors will provide a better all around performance than the price equivalent Intel CPUs. Also keep in mind, all of the R5 CPUs are overclockable, even the R7s as well. But overall, it would be unfair to once again compare these CPUs to the 7700K and the 7700K alone in terms of gaming. If we just look at these R5 CPUs in that perspective, then we'll be short-sighting ourselves and not looking at the entire picture for what these CPUs have to offer. I can tell a lot of people are excited for these R5 chips because of their very attractive prices and specs, but let's keep it grounded in terms of expectations and knowing where AMD is competing against Intel. Secretly, deep down though, I do want them to compete with like the 6800K and the 1600X, but I have to keep it grounded for myself as well. So do you think these R5 CPUs will compete any differently than the, just the price comparison? If you do, let me know down in the comments below or what you think of the comparison should be. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful and share it with someone who you think is going a thousand miles on the AMD R5 hype train and needs to be grounded a little bit more. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, consider checking out the rest of the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Go home.